Hey, Orpheus is a bit checked out. He's been to six behavioral philosophers and three clinical augers, but still, all he can say is... Whoa! <laughs> exactly. Of all the rotten luck, we need his help to sneak into the underworld. The underworld. What a coincidence, our singer friend's difficulties arise from the underworld. Orpheus's true love was a wonderful woman named... Eurydice! That's her. Unfortunately, she passed away on their wedding day. Snakebite, very tragic. But Orpheus wasn't going to take that lying down. Orpheus managed to talk his way into Tartarus while still alive. Impossible. He even convinced Hades himself to let Eurydice go. It really was amazing. Amazing indeed. A triumph of true love. But why is he so sad? It didn't end well. Hades let Orpheus lead Eurydice out, but told him no matter what, he couldn't look back. If he did, the deal was off. You have to climb a lot of steps to get out of the underworld. Orpheus kept wondering, is Eurydice okay? Is she still back there? Did something go wrong? Poor guy. He lived for the sight of that girl. All he had to do was not look back. And then at the very top of the stairs, he looked back. Whoa. Whoa! Exactly. You know, come to think of it, she may be the key to this. If you want Orpheus to snap out of this, you need to give him what he wants. Eurydice. Or at least something that reminds him of her. Ah, she was very fond of time. Wore garlands of the stuff. Wild time grows on the Isle of Knossos. If you bring Orpheus some, maybe he'll focus. So you're saying it's a question of time? <laughs> Ugh, no need for that. Knossos, home of the labyrinth? We know the way. Good. Yeah, make sure you get the fragrant stuff. There's the time. I wonder if those vultures will just let us take some? Invaders! Crush them and eat them! Arr, I'd hoped not. Let's get him! Watch what come out. Yes. At your command. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Time either. Get it? <laughs> this should be enough. Back to Nova Aquila. Whoa, whoa, I say. Oh, wait, is that time? Ah, oh, oh, lovely sprigs of time. Crokier Laconie. Her favorite. Oh, blessed time. How it brought out the colors in Eurydice's eyes. Enough of your belly aching, you weepy git. We need to go to the underworld. Tell us how to get there and you can go right back to your blubbering. The underworld? Think again. Mortals aren't allowed, even if you had a demigod as a guide. Which we do. Hail, son of Zeus. Good to see you. No point dissuading you, I see. If you befriended Hercules, you're clearly too hard-headed to listen to reason. Hey! Great singer, I swear to you. Point us the way to Hades, and we will take some time to Eurydice as a gift for you. You do that? You noble, doomed fools. With Hercules at your side, you might actually have a chance, pirate. I'll help you. Getting to the underworld is easy. As long as you're dead. To get there alive, you'll have to get Charon, the ferryman, to take you. The Horn of Fate will summon Charon and his grim boat. Last I heard, Brogos had it. He's a troll. 
the chief of the first Ragonians. Oh, I hate trolls. Just don't feed them, you'll be fine. Bring me that horn and I will tell you what comes next. <laughs>